Hello and welcome to Behind the Mic. I'm Danielle Adams and I am joined by reality TV star and Westminster graduate Amber Mariano. Amber, thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. First of all, you are a Westminster alumni. What was your major when you were here? I was a public relations major and a speech communications minor. Okay. Um, and they always say that liberal arts schools are supposed to make you well-rounded and better prepared for the real world. Do you think that Westminster did that for you? Um, yes, definitely, especially socially. I think uh, the liberal, liberal arts schools and uh, the small school atmosphere really helps you prepare for um, the world when you're, when you're going out into a job. And it helps to be more outgoing and more personable, and um, you're more willing to speak up. And I think... Whenever you go to a small school, um, you're kind of forced to interact, not only with students, but also with teachers. So it helps prepare you whenever you go into job interviews. It helps you to prepare you to, um, to speak up and um, possibly make connections that you wouldn't have made if you wouldn't have you know, been so outgoing. And that helps you to move up in the world. Okay, and the thing that you are probably most well-known for uh, is your multiple appearances on reality TV shows, the first one being Survivor. How did you in get involved with that show? Can you explain the, audition, the audition process for us? Sure. I, um, well, I had just graduated from college. I was about a month out of school, and I was working uh, temporarily for Bayer and um, applying for other jobs, and um, I had noticed that during my lunch hour one day that there was going to be auditions over at the media play, and uh, which was right across the street. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go over and check it out. It'd be good to get out of the office, and if I have enough time, maybe I'll wait in line and try out. I'll have a funny story to tell my family and friends later on. Okay. And <laughs> I didn't really expect it to go much further than that, to tell you the truth. Um, I went over there. The line was short enough, so I did try out. And uh, three weeks later... I um, was still living at home with my parents, and my dad came into my room and said, Hey, Amber, CBS is on the phone. And I said, Dad, shut up. Be quiet. You know, I thought he was just kidding around with me. And he handed me the phone, and it was this lady. Her name was Stephanie. And she says, Hi, Amber, this is Stephanie. And um, I just want to say congratulations. You made it to the next round of Survivor auditions. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I had, I had no idea that I was really going to make it to the next round. Um, but from that point on, you uh, go back to Pittsburgh and do more interviews. And then finally they cut it down to about 48 people, and they fly you out to L.A. And out there you do psychological interviews, um, there's physical blood tests, all these different kinds of things to make sure you're prepared mentally and physically to take on this challenge. And um, at the end of the 10 days you spend, you spend out there, um, they narrowed down to 16 people, and they told me I was heading for Australia. Wow. Okay, so you were on the show twice once for the Australian Outback, and you were also on the All-Star episode. What was that experience like? Um, well, both shows were very difficult. Um, I think the All-Star show was a little bit more difficult um, just because they wanted to make the All-Star edition, um, I think, the hardest season yet. And um, But I would have to say that um, it was definitely well worth the suffering. Um, I ended up winning in the end and uh, meeting my husband on the show. So all the rain and... Um, uh, all the bug bites were well worth it. Right. And like you said, the All-Star finale was a big, big night for you. Not only did you win the $1 million, but you also got engaged. What were some of the things that were going on in your mind that night? Um, I was completely overwhelmed, to tell you the truth. I had no idea that Rob would be proposing to me that night. I did have an idea that um, he would be proposing sometime soon, just because we had been talking about it. But for him to do it on that night was just, I was completely taken back, and um, I remember when he was down proposing on one knee, I, I was nervous for him because I knew how many people were watching on television, how many people were in the audience, and I was just praying that he would make it through and uh, be satisfied with the way he did, and he, he said everything wonderfully and beautifully, and it came out great, and it was funny because after we were engaged, Jeff went to announce who won, and at that point, it didn't really matter because we were going to share the money anyways. <laughs> Okay, and then from Survivor, you and Rob went on to compete in The Amazing Race. Did you have to audition for that show, go through a whole nother audition process, or did the producers come to you? Rob and I were actually uh, fans of The Amazing Race, and we, were ha we happened just to be watching it one night. And um, we both said, you know what, it would be, it would be kind of fun if we, if we did the show. We'd make a good partnership. Um, when we were on Survivor, it's an individual game, but we pretty much played it as partners the whole way through, and that's what you do on The Amazing Race. 
So we happened to be going on Regis and Kelly, uh, I think it was the week after, talking about something that we were doing at the time, I can't really remember, and they asked us what we were going to be doing next, and we said, well, we'd love to be on The Amazing Race. And uh, the producers ended up calling us and asked us if we were serious, and we said yes, and they said, well, you have to send in an audition packet and an audition tape. So I guess you would say we did have to audition, but uh, we kind of have we kind of had a little bit of an in, I guess you would say. Okay, and what were some of the things that that um, solidified your decision in doing a whole nother reality TV show? Um, I, I mean, we're just so competitive, and Rob and I are always looking for the next adventure, and um, I don't know. We, it's hard for us to turn down any type of uh, act, you know activity like that. Um, and so, I mean, heck, and also it's a, it's a trip around the world. It's a possibility of winning another million dollars. And um, it's kind of funny, I guess you would say, but Rob and I have almost turned our career into a reality career. So we were looking for that next show to be on to keep our careers going. Okay, and how how was The Amazing Race different from Survivor? Were there, you know, was it a lot of the same kind of, um, you know, you have to... Uh, strategize what you're doing or is it a whole nother animal to tackle um they are two totally different shows i think um on survivor it's an individual game and you're confined to one space um that's no bigger than you know a couple hundred yards mm -hmm. uh whereas on the amazing race you run the whole entire thing with a partner and you're exposed to the entire world um, so they're two totally different experiences, they're both difficult uh, physically and mentally. Um, I lost a lot of weight on both shows, and um, you go through emotional um, of missing your family, never being able to call home and see what's going on. So they, they're similar in that way, but um, I had to say I actually enjoyed Survivor a little bit better than I enjoyed The Amazing Race. Um, I guess I could be biased because I won Survivor, <laughs> but um, I just liked the camping out elements. Um, I thought it was kind of fun, and running around the world is a little bit stressful dealing with, you know, delayed flights and everything like that. Okay, and it, now it's been a couple of years since all of this has happened. What kind of things are you doing now? Are you working on any specific projects? Actually, yes, we are working on a couple things right now. Um, we're filming a show out in Vegas right now where uh, Rob and I, we moved out there for a couple of months. And Rob has become very interested in poker. So he's trying to become a professional poker player, believe it or not. Um, and also, he has a show that's on the Sci-Fi channel that he's doing on his own. And we have a couple other projects that we're working on in the future, but that I can't really say too much about this yet. Okay. And finally, if you had never gotten involved with any of these shows, what do you think your life would be like? How different would it be from what it is now? Um... I have to say that I I feel that I've remained the same person that I was before Survivor and Amazing Race and all the stuff that's gone on. Um, I think I'm still the same person today. I think you know I'm still close to the same friends that I had before and my family I'm very close with. Um, but I would probably imagine myself working for maybe an advertising agency or something like that, doing event planning. Uh, that's what I planned on doing whenever I graduated from college, and who knows, one day, maybe I'll still end up doing that. Okay, well, I have been talking with reality TV star and Westminster graduate Amber Mariano about her experiences on two hit reality TV shows and what her plans are for the future. Amber, thank you again for stopping in. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me, Danielle. You're welcome. For this edition of Behind the Mic, I'm Danielle Adams.